What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube. This is the cube that has all the cards from Magic the Gathering that have ever existed. I'm gonna try this Othari Sun's Glory. This card is in my cube as well. I have yet to cast this or play it. Forcing meld or... <laughs> no, this is a card I added because I thought this was this card is insane. It's five power for five mana, but every turn you get another power. You get another, you get another rebel, you make two rebels. Then you make three rebels. It reminds me a lot of Assemble the Legion, which I was a huge fan of. Except those had muster tokens. Not to be confused with mustard tokens. And also you can bring it back because it's a phoenix. You tap an untapped rebel and you return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. So, I mean, this card seems fantastic. I'm excited to try it out. We could also take Inspired Ultimatum because that's the same color. Or Showdown of the Scalds. Or Guardian Scale Lord. Lots of things happening here. Phil Belmont, Josh is currently gone. He left to go watch Starfield, but I'll let him know you said thanks. I think Showdown's gotta be better, right? This is not a beard trimmer. This is actually like a little back scratcher that I bought on Amazon, but it's fun to play with. It really satisfies my, um, my thing. But also, I do like combing my beard with it as well. So, you know, it's it's versatile. Yeah, it removes the eyebrows. You go like this, and it just sort of shaves them off. So, I'm going to take Showdown. I imagine Inspired or Guardian might come back. That's my guess. Um, I kind of like a braid here. We don't have to be a red-white aggro deck. We could literally just be like a, a more like controlling deck even. It doesn't just scratch your back, but your front, it scratches all the, you could, I scratch my head with it sometimes. Like it's really, I like a braid here. Hmm. Bone crusher. Oh yeah. Let's take a bone crusher. That's a nice versatile gentleman. Okay. Okay. What if we take this and then Urza comes back and then we get to live the dream because there's something else I'd really take maybe wrath, but I'm going to take this and try to try to live that dream. Oh God, that, that, okay. That, that emote is terrifying. I'm going to take resto here. Resto is, oh, thieving skydiver though, but we're not blue yet. So I'm going to take resto because it's probably just better if we're not blue. And by that, I mean, it's better if we're not blue. Let's take Ugin. I don't care about relic order, but maybe like this. Oh God. It's not colorless, is it? It's not artifact. So we can't actually tap the might stone and weak stone for Ugin, but still, I think it's the better pick. We could also ramp some too. So, um, talisman is two of our colors, and I think it's probably better than vantage here. I'd rather be ramping into our bigger stuff. Plus, it really justifies my insane hope that inspired ultimatum comes back. I had an opponent merge. Oh, we did it. This is the dream. <laughs> oh, God. It's beautiful. You say two of our colors. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Uh, we're going to have to time. We're going to have to time ghost it out, please. Someone, someone time. Someone time. I can't. Wait, are you making a joke? Is it because it's red and blue? Or are you saying, is it as in we're not blue? Because the goal is to be blue. So I thought you were making an is it joke? I-Z-Z-E-T? Sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. 600 seconds is 10 minutes. That's too long. Untime him out. I was just joking. Oh my God. How do you untime someone out? Okay, thank goodness. Wow. Babe, I'm glad you know how to work Twitch moderation tools because I would have been I would have been lost. Ghosted, welcome back. I hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> I have no idea how to work them. It's probably a toggle button where like you press it once and it, it times them out and then you just have to press it again. Um, yeah, we're just taking it to ready. Yeah, the timeout for one second is pretty funny. Do your mods actually know how to mod? No, not really. 
Oh, Basalt Monolith. It's actually pretty sweet with Ugin. It's pretty sweet with Othari. I mean, it ramps us one, but really it lets Zerta be really, uh, really cool. It lets Zerta be cool. Be cool, Zerta. I like all these cards that we have so far. I don't think we're a Mystic Forge deck, but I will take that. And now we have a bunch of ways to splash green for Sigarda and Dragonlord. Okay, there's no power in this pack, and that's really unfortunate. There's also nothing great for us other than, like, Grimonolith, but Grimonolith is pretty good. It's like a turn two Might Stone and Weak Stone. It was, like, auto set to 10 minutes and wouldn't let me change it. I'm just here doing it. Baby, you did great. Although Ghosted hasn't said anything, so I think they I think they got mad. Oh, they my message was deleted. All right. It was a joke. It was just we were just joking. Um oh a mox jet. One of the one of the two colors that we're not playing. That being said, it's still a mox, so we're still taking it. Cause that's cool. Um Yeah. Distorted Truth. Good seeing you, buddy. It's been 400 years. Wow, four years is so long. Oh, I like it. Also, the Inspired Ultimatum did not come back, interestingly enough. Um, Fire Confluence is really good. Steam Vents is probably very good for us. This pack is really good, and if either Fiery, Worm Coil, or Torrential Gearhulk come back, I'll probably be pretty pretty happy. But I think I just want to take the land here. We have no fixing for our three-color. Uh, very intensive deck. Are you referring to this talisman? Oh, hold on. Goldspan Dragon. Oh, and a treachery? Oh. I almost kind of like Goldspan Dragon. <laughs> Two of our colors. <laughs> Fascinating. Fascinating. See, I knew you'd come around. Oh, man, treachery is so good, but it's double blue. What if we're splashing white? Three white cards. Treachery. Oh God, Goldspan Dragon is also really good, though. I think it is Dragon here. Yeah, I don't know. It feels weird, but it's very good. I'm going to take Dragon. I feel weird about it. Yeah, we're definitely taking Flooded Strand here. I'd like to take a Tali, but... God. And we have Monolith, Basalt Monolith, and Talisman. Ugh. I can't, I can't take it. <laughs> I have to take the Atali. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. MCG Packard, have a good night, buddy. Um, I think Marsh Flats is fine. If we can get any white uh, dual lands, it's going to... Oh, Iron Mace is fantastic. Okay, now I actually feel a lot better about not taking the, um, the Flooded Strand. Uh, Seachrome Coast might be the pick. Actually, Wandering Ever seems pretty good here. I don't actually like the fast lands, if that's what if that's what we're calling them. Uh, talisman on one of our colors. Magda could just be playable. It just makes a treasure. I don't think I want another talisman. Hero of Blade Hold's also probably fine with all of our ramp. Like that card just wins games when you when you get it. I mean, that's, I mean, I don't think I've ever paid one of the Phyrexian mana actual colors. I think I'm always just like paying the two. Um, it's a bit of reunion here. Actually, I mean, 
I wouldn't be surprised if we were an upheaval deck. Uh, Fiery Confluence was what I wanted to come back, so that's kind of cool. Uh, another red-green land. So I actually like the way this looks. I think we do need some... Wow, this is a lot of green cards. I'll just take Augur. I think Augur is probably the better card in there. Yeah, Selfless Spirit, sure. If we get a Fallen Shinobi now, Selfless Spirit, we can sack it. To, that's a last... Someone is getting a last pick Draga Tree Speaker into a last pick Arbor Elf. That's absolutely insane. Oh, Sacred Foundry is probably exactly what we want from this pack. I don't think this pack is actually super impressive, so yeah. First pick Sacred Foundry. Actually, is Coalition Relic better? It's also all the colors. This might just come back. I actually think this is probably going to come back, and I want to take the Relic here. Yeah, someone getting a last pick Draga Tree Speaker is just utterly insulting. Also, the Torrential Gear Hulk didn't come back, but I wonder if... I think Magma Opus is probably just good enough to hard cast. I mean, especially considering, like... We have a lot of ramp. I think this is just good enough to, to cast. This is also why I took a Tali, because we have Basalt Monolith, Grim Monolith, Talisman. Now we have Coalition Relic. Like We also have Mox Jet. So if that Sacred Foundry comes back, I'm going to feel very fortunate. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue cone moon? This pack is not very exciting. Esper Sentinel eh, something. Ledger Shredder is fine, but I don't think I want to have... Uh, I don't think I want to have a blue on turn two. This could just draw us cards, and it's kind of obnoxious. Mother of Runes, we're not really a Mother of Runes deck, whereas this guy just gets the job done. I feel uncomfortable at Splashing Wilds. Like, we have a good number of green fixing... I guess just Copperline, Gorge, and Raging Ravines. That's not actually a ton. And Coalition Relic, but I don't think we need it. We already have Showdown, which is basically the same thing. I'm going to take the Esper Sentinel. I do like a Spire Bluff Canal here. Even though I said I don't like the fast lands, like we're getting to a point where like this is just helpful. Oh, baby, that's so sick. <laughs> Talk about a win condition. That's phenomenal, dude. Wow. Thank you. That's insane. That should not have been there. This card is absolutely busted in half. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take Incinerate here just so we have a little more interaction. We could also take Season Pyromancer and discard two things. Makes us loot, like, get, gets through our deck a little easier. I kind of like that, actually. Because we also have Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, let's take Season Pyromancer. I mean, there's going to be situations where we just want to, like, discard a Nugan and a Might Stone or something. I don't know. Wow. No, I have not seen Zerda. But I was keeping my eye on, especially with Grim Monolith and Basalt Monolith and for Theralingus now. But the talisman was on one of our colors, maybe even two. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Dude, my entire YouTube recommendations are all Starfield reviews from like some of the some of the video game people I watch. Like it's just mono Starfield reviews. They're all like 30 minutes long, too. And they're all very promising as well. Coca-Cola Gons Command. Plains and Forest and Swamp. Literally only one of our three colors. Opposition. We're not really an opposition deck. I also don't think I want any double blue cards. That's what it was like for me when Elden Ring came out. Yeah, Elden Ring was definitely um, kind of a big deal. 
It might just be Talisman of Creativity. Nothing else in here is even remotely playable. Yeah, I mean, I, I would love to take Coligon's Command, but we can't play it really. Runaway Steamkin is not great. I'll just take Talisman here. Wow, that's a really late glory bringer. Holy crap. Also, a late council's judgment. Oh, God. I think I want the council's judgment. Yeah, like our top end is already fine. I'd rather just have another card that lets us survive. Wow, Primeval Titan just tabled. <laughs> that's something. Oh, uh, boy. I think we're just taking Burgie here, because I think as a five drop, it's just fine. Well, Vindicate would be super cool if we were playing black again. This card's probably not. I'm just going to take the Vindicate just in case something happens. Fallen Shinobi and Corsair and Escape. Okie dokie. None of these cards are playable for us. Yeah, I'll take Wilds. Silent Clearing and Overgrown Tomb. Fascinating. All right, Silent Clearing it is. That's a late Hellbreaker Horror. Oh, I, that's a playable Elspeth for sure. And an Archon, okay. So the Sacred Foundry did not come back. I think our mana is going to be a little rough. So I'm probably going to lean on taking out double colored cards if we have the option, like... Hero of Bladehold can go. Probably one of these Planeswalkers. When is our mana not rough, she says. Actually, maybe it's Esper Sentinel. What do we got here? We got Marsh Flats, Steam Vents, Arid Mesa. These are just getting... Marsh Flats is just getting planes now. That's really discouraging. We do have a Mox Jet. Spire Bluff. Our mana's really rough. Wow. But we do have Coalition Relic, Talisman. Meh. Maybe we can get by. Is this the is this the deck? Is mm, yeah, I mean we're majority red for sure. Yeah. Yeah, this could be fine. Like, we only have... We have two blue cards, right? So we're basically... Yeah, this is actually okay. We don't actually have that many blue cards. We'll add one island, just for the sake of having it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five, six, seven, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven. Uh, we probably could Splash Vindicate. I don't think it's necessary, and I think stretching the mana to a, a fourth color seems pretty greedy. Plus, don't forget Coalition Relic adds a, another color for everything. We also have the Talisman, which adds blue and red. Yeah, I can see cutting the island. Let's add another. Yeah, the reason being we have Arid Mesa and Steam Vents already. So that's three sources plus Talisman plus Coalition Relic. It's five sources. So this is double checking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well... I mean, this is this is pretty early game. This is turn three. And it makes everything else cheaper. Not everything, but instant sorceries and artifacts. But either way. I mean, this deck looks like it could be fun. I think our mana could be a little bit better, and I'd really like it if it was, but here we are.
yeah, we're Boros Ramp splashing Urza. What if we, I mean, I don't really want to cut the blue, though. It seems very easy to, like, who, who doesn't want to meld, you know? Like, if we cut Opus and we cut Urza, what do we get out of that? Like, we get to play, like, Esper Sentinel Hero Blade Hold or something. I did this game. Thank you for the thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> the red green deck was oh my god, dude! What a nightmare! What an absolute! I was it was just so discouraging because I felt like we had a lot of good components. We had a lot of ramp. We had channel. We had a lot of good creatures. I think we had channel. We had sneak attack. I think sneak attack and maybe like through the breach. Either way. Uh, yep. Snap. Keep that. I don't like not having anything to do on turn one, but we are on the play, right? So that's good. Yes, you're, yeah, let's add the two green lands and we'll add silent clearing and we'll play vindicate and escape. I just, like I said, I don't think escape is that great because we already have showdown of the scalds, which is basically the same thing. This is a turn three Othari which could be pretty cool. Yeah, we cut all the turn one cards. Which was just literally one. We had Esper Sentinel, and that was it. Look at this guy. Yeah, one, two, three. Take me home tonight. I don't want to let you go till you see the light. I hope you don't have an answer for this and it just kills you in like three turns. Fingers crossed. Because I'd be really sad if, if you did have an answer. That's not an answer. I mean, land into Talisman next turn could be good. That would be a nice, a nice little... I'd feel good about it. Do I think it was the worst thing they could have played against us? Why? I mean, we're going to need four mana to play Restoration Angel. We only have two right now, so I do not foresee that... Uh... Oh dear. They're doing a lot of things that I'm not really comfortable with. Oh yeah, sure. But I mean like... God fucking damn it. Never don't have it. <laughs> Thought season to incinerate. Fantastic. Oh yeah, here we go. God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. There you go. What a phenomenal turn. Well, I'd rather see if I can draw land here. <laughs> cool. Let's just go to the next game. I don't really feel like fighting against my own. Oh, cool. Still no land? Great. Fighting against my own Goldspan Dragon. Yep. Cool. Everybody had a great game one. Everyone played hard. It was a fair match. The opponent had exactly what he needed, because of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Oh, yeah, I guess we'll keep this again.
Nay. So they're going to thought seize our Grim Monolith. Whoa. Whoa. That wasn't a thought seize. George is getting upset. We are living in a society. Sure. Really. Ph phenomenal. White mana. Beautiful. It's your boy. Yeah, every time I play against Voidwalker, I'm always like, wow, this card is shockingly good. Like being able to play the card without actually, oh, for crying out loud. But wait, you know I have Bone Crusher. Do you even care? So Atali does not get cheaper, right? Artifact, Instant, and Sorcery, so... But we still have six. So next turn, if we hit a land, we can cast Atali. That's pretty cool. Wow, they're already at 13. <laughs> Thanks to Talisman, Nurturing, Peatland, and Thoughtseize. So. They took two from Thoughtseize. They're two black to cast Voidwalker, so that's four. Then one from Talisman to cast Thoughtseize. This costs five, five life and then two from Urza. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. So Cammy, one of the influence managers of Bethesda, just messaged me on Twitter and was like, Hey, I'm Cammy. Lovely to meet you. I'm here to hook you up with a code as a special friend of Bethesda. Oh my god, that's amazing, dude. Oh my god, I'm so hyped right now. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh not not my password, but she did ask for my social security number. Is that weird? Well, this is the only thing I can really play here. And we'll play this guy. One, two, three. And we'll use a red for that. Oh my god, dude, this is amazing. No, that's normal. <laughs> totally, totally normal. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it might be a car extended warranty situation. Good looking out. Good looking out. All right. This is pretty rough. Oh, man. Dude, I'm so excited.
Uh, I only got after those three numbers on the back of my card. I'm very tempted to block here. And then play Ugin and negative four Ugin. And then they're going to incinerate Ugin and it's going to be really sad. Three, four, five, six, seven. If we draw land, we can actually lightning bolt this, then attack their, their Minskin Boo. Yeah, I think we're just taking four here. That seems good. I mean, not good, but it seems... Hold on, I'm just finishing up this uh, this chat. Oh my god, the Amazon gift card! <laughs> I can see you watch a lot of scammer videos on YouTube. <laughs> oh, we meant to refund you three hundred. We actually refunded you thirty thousand. You're gonna have to go to Target and get Target gift cards. Don't tell them what they're for, but go get Target gift cards. And then give us the codes. Let's do a land here. We did it. We did a land. Oh, man. Let's get a second white, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think we just cast Ugin. We shoot this guy, and then we attack their Minskin Boo. And then they can only put... Ugin down to five. Attack Minsky and attack your face. Yeah, there's like two main two main scammer guys I watch are like Pierogi, who is scammer payback, and um, Kit Boga. Those guys are both very very entertaining. Also, it's it's funny because I mentioned I messaged Pete Hines like thirty minutes ago, and I was like, "Hey, dude." I know this is way below your pay grade, but is there any chance you got a Starfield code for your old pal? And he hasn't responded yet, but I did get this message from her on Twitter like a half an hour later. So who knows? Who knows, right? But kind of funny. There's a podcast called Scam Goddess. Is it, does a podcast translate well to like messing with scammers? I guess it does, right? Because you don't really see their faces anyway. It's also just calls. Like most of it is just whatever videos, like whatever animations they choose to put in the video. That's interesting. Podcast seems like a really good format for that. Now that I think about it. Oh, it just describes and jokes about them, including modern and historical. That's actually kind of cool. Well, I hope they don't thought seize this because this hand seems pretty nifty. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a turn four Ugin. No, is it turn three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's turn four, but like there's a lot of things we can play as well, so. Okay. Well, now we have a good incentive to play our, our mocks here. Usually I don't like playing a mox until you have a thing to play with the mox, so. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty interesting. There's a lot of mana. Hmm. Well, well. Dude, I just actually can't even, like... I was just going to buy the game, right? Like, if I didn't get the, the access code, I was just going to buy it. But, like, I'm kind of really hyped about having gotten it. It feels rewarding, right? Like, I don't know. I'm super excited. So we have an Abrade and a Fiery Confluence here. But next time we can just play Ugin. I don't think they can steal our Ugin, right? <laughs> I don't think they can steal our Ugin, right? He says, oh boy. Oh, what a revolting development. Well, see you later, Ugin. Yep, that was an easy choice. What impeccable timing. Well, I feel like we have a lot of good draws. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a good one. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, now we have to tap the monolith just to... Oh, boy. What a fool. Well, I got another Planeswalker, so, you know, rewarded. Make a little guy. Why did you jinx it? Because I jinx everything. Cool. <laughs> God, everything is just dying. All of my things are disappearing. Give me Othari, right off the top. Or Itali. Oh, that's sad. All right. Well, so long, all my things. <laughs> oh, we did it! Hey! I said give me this guy, and then they gave me this guy, and here he is. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Well, they know I have this, so I might as well play it. Let's see if you got more removal. You got any more removal? And it has to be good removal, because I can just return this guy forever now. It's got to exile. You going to exile it? Come on. You going to exile it? That ain't exiling anything. That guy ain't gonna do it. Deluge wouldn't exile, though. Oh, but it would get rid of the the rebel token, I guess. Smart. Any wrath effect would do that. Yeah, it would do that. Oh, man. We're just gonna get to attack again? Unless you got a trick. You got some kind of weird trick? Oh, no. Oh, God. Why do they always have it? They always have it. What does it come to like? Because it comes like tapped, huh? Okay. Well, we're definitely keeping our mana up here. No attacks. It's not at sorcery speed, right? Oh my god. Okay, thank god. <laughs> it's like, oh no, did I mess up? What? 
Oh, she just said, Pete Hines is also to thank. He passed the message along that you were a friend of the fam. <laughs> oh my God. What a fucking saint, dude. Uh, Pete Hines is my favorite. You got it. How rebellious. Oh, we just win. <laughs> were they like, I hope he doesn't notice. And then when I noticed, they were like, he noticed. So we could counsel his judgment. This guy attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put them to one. What would we have drawn? You'll never know. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Round dose. Of when, oh, look who it is. It's little Josh. This hand is kind of rough. I mean, if we hit monolith, any monolith or a talisman or mox, I think it's probably pretty good. We have a braid. We have a three drop. We have a four drop. I would love to restart. Okay. Main phase. What did we draw? Uh, Council's judgment. That's correct. Good job, me. Yeah, look at that. Oh, now it's like snappy. Look at this. Pow. Fantastic. Yeah, so I'm ready to to uh to install the hundred hundred and fifty plus gigabyte game tonight, so that's gonna be fun. I have to buy a whole Xbox because I want to play Starfield on my OLED. That's I mean, that's fine. Just hook your PC up to it. My computer monitor is OLED. Oh, that's fascinating. Does that do anything? Not really. We could just play Burgie, then next turn play Mightstone. Maybe they just counter this too. They got three mana. They haven't done anything. This guy's getting countered for sure. Oh. She did not get countered. Fast, too much work. Yeah, buying a whole Xbox, definitely easier. <laughs> what was I thinking? If we hit a land, we can might stone and weak stone. We did not hit a land, but we did hit an Urza. Which means we can play Urza and keep up a braid mana. I'm trying to meld. And they're going to cryptic command. They're going to remand it? Sure. None of these are permanent answers to anything, so I guess that's fine. <laughs> it's funny that OP means both opponent and overpowered. Game lingo is weird. Like, that card's OP. Let's do it again. Hey, he resolved. Good for him. And original poster. That's true. Yeah, the OP. Wow. Good call. You know what? I'm getting real tired of this. This nonsense you're doing. Why didn't you do this when it was on the stack, I wonder? If you did it on the stack, I couldn't have abraded your Venser and I would have done nothing. Oh, fascinating. I guess we're I guess we're storming here. We got a seething song. That's very interesting. What are your thoughts on Storm? Hmm. Hard to say. 
What? That's fascinating. Okay, so we're not melding anymore. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to fourth arrow, 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 lingus. Arrow, arrow, arrow. My dreams. Yeah, they're gone. Did you have a stroke? Ah. Six of one half dozen of another, you know? My brand. Okay, do we play around days here? Probably. Uh, this, wait, cancel. Okay, so we're going to cast this. X is currently three. So yeah, that seems fine, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have five mana. Katie loves asking if you ever drank some water. Do they ever not have an answer? Okay, that's not really an answer. I don't care about that. I do wish I went for four, though, because now it's a four-turn clock versus a three-turn clock. But that's pretty good. Uh, but we didn't know that. And last time I tried to tap out for a fourth Eorlingus, we got dazed. So what are you going to do? Let's see if they're going to kill us. Are you going to kill us? Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So I guess we're doing that thing again where we just get to sit back and watch our opponent play magic. Always fun. So how you guys doing? How's your day going? You guys, uh... You guys cool? See, and we just can't concede. We have no idea what's in their hand. It could be junk. We don't know what their win condition is. It could be nothing. Um, we don't have any great cards to play with that. So that's something. Sure. The Offspring, Sum 41, and Simple Plan. What is this, 2004? What year is this? I just started whistling a lit song after, uh, after you told me you went to see some 41 and, uh, offspring and simple plan. So, you know, not really the same, but. Does anyone know the condition of the storm count going up? Sometimes it goes up when I don't have a storm card in my hand and they don't have a storm card in their hand. I don't know actually what the condition is for it to go up. They just whiff. See, this is exactly why you can't. They also didn't attack to get the monarchy, but they can't block. Are they tilted? I don't know what's going on. How much does this cost? I can discard this to play this. Um, Harnfeld. Oh, fourth Aerolingus again. <laughs> well, 
this is this could be something. Let's play our land. Let's play a monolith for one. I guess I should have played this, huh? Smart. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's play like they don't have days, huh? Does this just win us the game? This is 10 guys. What could they have? Nothing? Phenomenal. <laughs> oh man, that's a card, all right. That's a card, all right. Good gravy. Good gravy. None of these cards really deal with Storm, so we're not really... Esper Sentinel is tempting. Should have just conceded a Storm. Yeah, and this is why you can't play... Like, you just have to sit there and deal with it. You can't concede because they could just not go off. <coughs> It's very possible. It's a real thing that happens. I stormed out more than they did. I emptied. I was the one. Look at me. I am the one who empties the Warrens. Um, I think this is actually fine. I don't really have any big issues with what we're what we're working with here. I would have liked. A little better of a hand than this. And this is not keepable, I don't think. This is better. This has a little bit of everything going on here. So Arid Mesa can only get... Um, it can get actually Island and, and Plains. And we don't know which we need a second of right now. So let me draw Mox. So I can go Mox into Grim Monolith. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. I don't even have any, I don't have any words for that. I don't have to say it. You know what happened. Are they going to brazen borrower? Sure. Hmm. <clears throat> I could just play Burgie here, which I think is actually probably better. Because then we have Showdown for the following turn. That seems good. Okay. Well, look at all these things you're doing. Are you time spiraling here? Vensering. Oh, we did. Didn't we do this whole dance last time? We already did this. Stop it. Stop embarrassing yourself. Stop it. Get some help. Your wife, your humming has my wife singing 90s pop punk. It seems fine. What problem is? Um, one, two, three, four, five. I almost kind of want to kill their mana crypt here. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I wish we took that sacred foundry, but I also don't mind not taking it. Because I mean, it would have turned on both Marsh Flats and Sacred and um, Arid Mesa, which is pretty good. <laughs> also pretty good. Congratulations.
Big Burge. Remand. No, something worse. That's not worse. <clears throat> I got a red? Cool. I don't want it. I don't even want it. I don't know why Lit is stuck in my head though. I don't I think it's because of the time period. I think a lot of those bands were also big around the same time period that Lit was big. So excellent top four cards. See if we get some lands here. Oh, Fiery Confluence. And Might and Weakstone and Talisman. Wow, this is actually quite a nice little array. Um, wait, how much do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six mana? Could you slowly migrate your stream from MTG to 90s karaoke. Like, not all at once. Yeah, just slow enough so that they... Give me that other red. Please tell me why. Cast. Uh, two to each creature. Sure, you got it. Well, I'm one shy of untapping this, one shy of playing Resto. I guess we're just getting in there. Oh, you're going to do something else. <laughs> Brain freeze yourself. Love it. Okay. I assume they have Underworld Breach. There it is. I mean, they still have to do it, right? I guess they could, they don't have enough, they don't have a ton of cheap stuff in their graveyard. I'm going to get Helm back first, I bet. Nope, maybe not. Seething Song first? I mean, isn't Helm just better first? Because it... I don't know. Yep, there you go. Oh, they cast me from the graveyard for its escape cost. Wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> is this? This is hilarious. What is this friggin' text? What? This doesn't seem correct.
God, I can't believe they cast me from the graveyard. What is my escape cost? That's <laughs> bunker. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm free. See, like, this is, this is the thing. I just, like, they don't have enough cheap stuff in the graveyard, really. It doesn't seem like, like, there's no high tide. There's only one ritual. Like, they can brain freeze, but we have 24 cards. They brain freeze themselves first, which makes sense when you have Underworld Breach, but... Okay, Ancestral. Oh, there's the high tide. All right, so now they're going off. Okay. So now they're doing it. I mean, it only took 400 years. I literally have no idea how long ago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, this is only 14 cards. We don't have an Ulamog, though, so we don't have a, an Eldrazi to shuffle, so that's not going to... What happened? What did they do? They hit another one? Okay, so they did get it. Fantastic. Do we have anything that would prevent that? No, not really. Nothing in here is gonna, gonna get reshuffled in. This hand I like a lot. <clears throat> Any one land and we get to cast a monolith or coalition relic. So that's pretty cool. But if we don't... Seven turns out of land coming up. Hot. <laughs> Come on, Papa needs a land. He didn't get one. He didn't get the land. Papa Papa is disappointed. All right, six more. Turn number two. Ready? Papa needs his Papa needs his land. Give me this guy. 
play this guy. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I'm going to play this because it lets us play Goldspan Dragon next turn if they don't brazen borrow it for the third game in a row. Let's yield until the end step. They can also Venser it. They have the Brazy and Venser. What are the odds they have one of them? Thousand percent? I think it's a thousand percent. I think it's higher than the daily sub goal today. Hey buddy, this is Coalition Relic, not not Chromatic Lantern, all right? Also, I just needed a third mana to, to cast it. I can't just, you can't get, you can't now, yeah, of course, obviously. Yep. <laughs> it never fails. Let me see. Uh, one, two, three into this guy again. I guess we're just doing that. Do it again, I guess. Nothing here nets us a mana, right? No, I guess not. That's a bummer. I can't even tell my mana rocks apart. Yeah, it's it's a common problem. Like the older you get, the harder it is to tell your mana rocks apart, you know. Yep, you got it. I'll likely just kill that. Or try to. Oh, she did. Oh, that's fascinating. Not fascinating enough to not cast Goldspan Dragon, I don't think. If I had one more man, I would cast Might and Weak Stone into, like, Monolith here. But as it stands... Right now, this is a good amount of mana. It's a good one. Do they kill us right now? Is this it? Is this the moment? Yep, feels good. All right. Are we getting stormed out? Your favorite and mine. Here comes the time spiral. We're going to ritual and then time spiral. Smart. Underworld breach for high tide again, right? That's good. See, this is a much better this is a much better graveyard for for an underworld breach. You got high tide, ritual, ancestral Chart of course. Mm hmm. Make another treasure. Oh, yeah. It's very true. I'm not really even paying attention anymore. I'm just kind of existing. This is why you want to draft like one Eldrazi in your sideboard just to have it. 
So while we wait, how are you going to decide what sort of character build to run for your first Starfield? That's a good question. I actually have no idea, and I kind of like that. I don't know what my options are, and I think I just want to feel it out. Like, what sounds coolest? Because I don't really have a specific thing that I go for in, like, every game. Do they just have no graveyard? I guess they have six cards in their hand. That's a lot. So now they're going to probably time spiral. I don't know what's going on. Yep, time twister. Okay. But now they have four. Okay. Well, I guess they could brain freeze for 10. That's what, 30? That kills us. What if they didn't draw it? What if they don't have it in their hand? Is that possible? Seven out of 25 cards? I mean, we also have a braid mana right now, so we could get rid of nothing, I guess. Huh. <sighs> well, do we get a turn or not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is six. This is 12. We can literally put them to three, but then they get another turn. But then Breach is gone? I don't know, man. Look, we have 16 minutes, they have 5 minutes. Like, we've literally just had to sit here for 11 minutes while they do this nonsense. Like, it's fine. I get that Storm is complicated. I get that there's a lot of lines. I get that there's a lot of possible things you can do. But, like, you have to see the fucking unfun play pattern this produces for anyone who's not playing Storm. And now they're just... Now they just... It's just done. <laughs> so, <laughs> they did nothing. Okay, well, we have one land, so let's play that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is nine. So 14. We can deal them 14 points, and then maybe they die to their own mana crypt. <laughs> I mean, do we do that? One, two, Grimani. One, two, three, four, five. And done. Oh, they do. <laughs> they do. I mean, whatever. I don't know how they're going to win, though, because they've just stormed and they've exiled a lot of their, their high tide is gone. Like, yep, that's fine. Snapcaster for Time Twister again? What? That's interesting. They also have four minutes on the clock. We have 15. I don't know. That's frustrating. Sure. Yep. I mean, I guess they could just keep doing this nonsense. And then brainstorm for five, which is 15 cards, puts us to... T like, I don't... I don't know. Okay, they did nothing again. Fantastic. So as far as we know, 
what's his name? Fencer and Brazen Bar are still in the deck. Everything costs one less. That's pretty cool. Yep. Cool, and they overpaid. <laughs> but we get a we get a treasure here, so that's pretty good. Um don't really want to do anything with it, I guess. Wait, what? Okay. Sure. That's great for us, because now we can just kill that guy. Um we play land? Yeah, we did. So we have one, two, three mana. Everything is cheaper, so we can actually just go stomp you with black. Play an Elspeth. Create a 1-1. One, one. And they did nothing again. I have no idea what their hand is. This is so weird. One, two, three, four again. Gold span, I guess. Spencer. <laughs> Snap. Sure, make another treasure. Um, let's sack this for two while the gold spans here. They have two minutes and 39 seconds. I just don't want to exert too much because if they just have high, if they just draw brain freeze, I don't want to like be my own worst enemy. Also, we can't cast either of these without this. I don't think we need to cast anything here. I guess we can cast this guy. Yeah, that's good. All right. So brain freeze for five is 15. We have plenty of cards. They lost the flip. Their life is dwindling. Bone Crusher plus Elspeth is lethal. All right, well. And we win the match. 2-0. Feels good. Despite that storm match. All right. Well... This is for all the marbles. Fourth Winolingus. Yeah, we gave him the Lingus, you know? Sometimes you just gotta give them the lingus. This is another situation where one land, and then we got this turn three Othari. And we got fourth here. I'm gonna keep this. I think also if we hit a land, we can go Grim Monolith into fourth. It's really, really good. So I think this is a greedy hand. Nowhere am I advocating to keep a hand like this. I do not agree with it. However, this, uh, this is not a coward stream.
Oh, we did it. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I just cannot hide it. Also, City of Traders into Talisman is friggin' wild. What a... Oh my god, what is happening? If we hit another red, Fiery Confluencing... Actually, if we hit any land, Fiery Confluencing, destroy only three of these. Holy crap, come on, red, mountain. Mox. That actually might do it as well. That actually does do it. Because we get to go three here. Yeah, we're definitely doing this. One, two, three, four, fiery. Uh, three of these guys. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> oh, and that's... The... <laughs> All right. So that's... Uh, that's... Uh, that was game right there, I guess. Somebody call the police. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. <laughs> oh man, even if we lose the match, that was a hell of a game. Oh, this hand's amazing. Turn one, Bone Crusher, into turn two, Bone Crusher. Oh, wow, and we just get to kill that off of our... Oh my god. Everything is lining up perfectly in this match. This is insane. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, get it, get rid of it all. Just dump it all out. Urk, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. That guy dead. Oh, he did. I would actually say everything is coming up Millhouse. My cuffs, my feet are soaked, but my cuffs are bone dry. I mean, this ain't doing all that much. Give me that fiery confluence again. What we could do is actually cycle this at the end of the... No, we can't. We don't have double red. So I'm glad I noticed that. So I guess we'll just play the bone boy. Bone daddy. <laughs> oh, I'm a superstar at the Cracker Factory. They have one card in hand. What is their what is their game here? I'm just blocking. I ain't gonna let you get away with no shenanigans. You're just gonna sack its mega servo or thopter. They had nothing to lose. I'm just a man with nothing to lose. Okay, well, this is kind of rough. We don't really have... So three and a tap, they can go one, two, three, untap this, sack this. Yeah, this is, this is pretty good. This is pretty good for them. It's funny because they have infinite mana, but like... Retrofit or Foundry is the thing that's making it all worth it here. Which is fine. I'll trade their 4-4 four because four, it just takes a lot of time off of them. No, you're the coolest. How dare you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because next turn Othari is just going to be able to really do the deed. You know, at least I think so. That's a guy. Mm. More like shitty of traders, am I right? So 
So one, two, three to untap, make it a thing. One, two, three to untap. Now you don't have enough mana to do everything. So this works out well. Plus the lifelink, I'm a fan of it. I don't think you can do everything here. It's gonna take two to do this to make a flyer, sure. And then you don't have three to untap it as well. Yeah, all right. But now you actually don't have a guy, so it's kind of resetting you. And next turn, if they try to make a guy, I guess we're not going to be able to kill them. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that lingus when you need it? Oh, it doesn't matter because apparently they just conceded, right? What in the earth? <laughs> yeah, this card is bonkers, man. If I can highlight it, yeah, this card's fantastic. I, I like it a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Three O with this sweet. Just Kai deck. Thank you guys. Really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.